Mr. President, had you seen John's previous film, Lost Boys of Sudan? Well, yes, I have. Um, of course, um, I like watching films and I like documentaries. And um, later on, um, it was much later that I, I came to know of his Lost Boys of Sudan. Um, and then I watched it um, to see how he had done that, but still didn't think he would have done, you know, it, the, the manner in which he's done this is quite amazing. Um, I myself am um, realizing the kind of things that I have done and said. <laughs> I hope it's not going to <laughs> take me to any bad waters, but I, I think it's it's nicely done, and I, I'm I'm sure there's there's nothing that anyone should be unnecessarily worked up about. <laughs> uh, um, Canada wasn't seen, you see. <laughs> You know, President Nasheed has a has a, a big heart, and he he uh, when Richard Burge and I sat down with you in your office um, uh, a couple of years ago and described what we wanted to do, and we were trying to find words for you know explaining this very unusual thing, and uh, he had not seen you know the works of Albert Mazels or you know D. A. Penny Baker, and so it was you know it's 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 difficult to explain kind of a you know a film that involves a lot of access and a lot of high ratio shooting. Um, but there was a fast forward about a year, and when we were in India, um, you were meeting with Connie Hedegaard, the, who was the chief um, climate negotiator from, from um, the Danish government, who was kind of the, the leading, organi leading, or leading organizing force behind um, the, the Copenhagen meeting. And they were having a very sensitive meeting about, you know, kind of where, where the lay of the land was and, you know, was the, was the deal going to happen. And we got kicked out of the room after a while, and we were just devastated because it was just yet, yet another time when we were kind of kicked out and couldn't get what we needed. And President Nasheed saw that we were upset, and he called us in after it was over, and he just said, look guys, there's, I'm gonna fight for you when, whenever I can, but there's gonna be moments where, you know, the, the work to be done um, has to take precedence. So we just kinda, I think we had a, um, after that moment, we kinda had a, a sort of an, a gentleman's agreement that he would fight for us and that we would keep, we would keep fighting for the film. Well, um, um, there were people who were asking me, did I know, do I know what they are trying to do? And, and my answer is always, does any one of us know what we are actually trying to do? <laughs> I mean, let alone John trying to tell me what he's trying to do. Uh, do I know what I'm trying to do? <laughs> do does any one of you know, you know what you're actually trying to do? But once we see um, something substantially done, it's quite obvious and it's very nicely seen. So uh, have some patience, use your imagination, and don't worry about all these things too much. <laughs>